Hey family, Julia Rose here. I can use my scissors find you at the precise time you need them. Happy 1111 portal. It is a fantastic day to be manifesting. And it is hilarious because I'm at an airport again and I was just on the phone and my guys were like, you have to bring them a message right now. So I'm bringing them a message right now. Let's get into it. I don't know. All I feel is the excitement. Maybe some of you guys didn't sleep very well last night. I'm just feeling a lot of anticipation in this energy. You could also be experiencing a lot of resurging memories. Things from the past coming up to provide you with the perspective of genuinely how much, how much you've overcome, genuinely how much you've grown, to see how much you've already manifested since November 11th last year. Say that again. This is a really good time for you to be talking to new people, making new connections, putting yourself out there, and allowing yourself to be seen as the newest version of you. One on one on the timer as I say that. That feels good. Okay, we're using the threads of fate and oracle. Let's see. What do you need to know right now on this 11 11 portal? Of course, it would have to go the other way. getting to be just tossed at you. All these opportunities, all these new ideas, they're just being thrown at you right now. And you have to ensure that you're doing whatever you can to be in receiving energy. This is the secret. Look at all of these anchors. Look at the openness. So we can talk a bit in a moment this is something I've been meditating on too, like how, how can we be more open to receiving these things? I'm hearing that you all need to start a manifestation journal and that today's the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Not to start your manifestation, I mean, not only to start your manifestation journal. Yes, today is the day to start your manifestation journal. Uh -huh, right on. It's also the day that you do. No, no, no. See, they want you to start believing that everything is possible right now. That everything in your life could change in an instant. And for most of you, your change has felt like it's been a long progression of overall growth. But what you don't see is that this is actually catalyzed by particular shifts in time. And because the time between those moments is far, it feels like they're few and far between. This feels like a long, cumbersome journey. But what they're saying is they want you to think outside the box. It's a magi here. Think outside the box. Get creative. Get real about what's your wildest dream. What's your what's your wildest goal for your life? Ooh, yeah, I feel like some of you could even be feeling a bit of um, dizziness if your crown chakra is blocked off. So please. Be mindful of that and just know that it's a calling for you to to ground again and to intentionally open your crown to your guides, to your higher self, to the divine, to your angels and ancestors, the holy light. What else? I got one more card here. I feel it. I feel it. Oh my god. It goes behind the floor. Goodness sake. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not very graceful. But I guess I don't. <laughs> I guess I don't really care. Because with this energy, this is the outlaw. Okay? You have to be willing to be seen as the villain in someone else's story right now. I don't know. If that's for everyone, I feel like if it's for a lot of you, you have to be okay with being seen as quote unquote upsetting others. Because if you're still in that energy of like, well, I don't wanna do that because they're gonna say this or it'll make them feel that way, which is less than pleasing to them. That's showing you the patterns, the holding patterns that you still need to break out of. You have 444 on your timeline. 
your your victories come at the price of your old beliefs. Your victories come at the price of your old beliefs. Your victories come at the price of your old patterns. Dang, that's intense. That's that's that message I heard. <laughs> Some of you have to take something apart to rebuild again. Destruction. You have to be willing to start over again. It's not that you're back to square one. You're just starting from a clean slate. And I... Five, five, five here. I'm gonna get some tarot messages for you to close this out. What do your guides need you to know about this manifesting portal? Where is it that you're still holding back? That's what I want to know. Where is it that you're still holding back? <laughs> um, for some of you, it's giving a shit what people think about you. Oh my. Can we get a little bit more? Oh my. I just heard, you've been punked. You've been punked. Some of you can't see where you've been lied to or manipulated to be carrying the weight of other people's burdens. We had the moon part with the seven swords and then the ten of wands. Some of you can't see where you're still subconsciously carrying the weight for other people. Not just the weight of their opinions, but the weight of their belief patterns that they've created as a reality for you to make themselves feel more comfortable. Yeah, but this is something is changing here with this page of swords. Like you can see all the butterflies flying towards her. Feels like her. Could be him. Could be you. <laughs> it is you. <laughs> All of these, all of these opportunities are ready to push you in the right direction. You see how she's like, she's like, yeah, but what's down there? No, honey, don't go back to that dark abyss of abysmal self-hatred. No, that was never yours. They were just jealous and I couldn't stand the fact that you were healthy and happy. And for some of you that cost you your health, that cost you your happiness, that cost you your job, that cost you your marriage, that cost you your, your happiness. Did I say car? Some of you it actually cost a car. But I need you to know that whatever mindset that That put you in, that you had, that put you in a position to feel like you needed to make others happy before you yourself could experience joy. Yeah, that's what your guides are working with you right now to shift. The Ace of Wands, they're bringing inspiration back into your life. We have 909 and 911 here. You're gonna be getting messages about what's the reality of these people. If you have separated from them, you're gonna be getting messages about the reality of their own karma. Because you're so protective, you're so divine, that when you come into the life of people around you, their lives get better because they experience your divine protection, the protection of your guides, the protection that God places over you. Because God and your guides and your angels and your ancestors and holy light wouldn't put you in relationships, they wouldn't put you in circumstances where other people's fuck-ups would be affecting you. For, most, for the most part. For the most part. If they're more vampiric in nature, 
then that would come at the price of your life force or your health, your ability to make money, your ability to go after your dreams, your creative spark. But there's a rejuvenation, yeah, there's a rejuvenation coming here with this. Cool. There's a rejuvenation coming here with this. And you're going to be getting everything back that you lost, and that's up. Time's a lot. <laughs> Time's a lot. Which is why you get it, you need to get back into your manifestation journal. And that, yeah, with the, with the 911, you're gonna be getting notifications we'll say psychic notifications spiritual notifications um, of everything that's happening to these people because they're no longer covered by your divine protection yeah Ooh. any last messages here I'm on fire like this energy has me buzzing Buzzing. Any other messages? What else do y'all need to know about this energy on this 1111 portal? It's very specific. Lay to rest. Lay to bed everything you haven't done and get started today. The King of Pentacles. That's the optimal manifestation energy right now. And all that's required of you is doing it anyway. Do it anyway. You gotta start today. Anything else? One more card. Hmm. This is gonna be such a huge celebration for you because it's gonna feel like you're finally coming home to yourself. When you sit down and do the work of writing down every single quote unquote dream that is too far out of reach, too delulu, doesn't matter. When you do this work of being honest about what it is that you want, what it is that you're wanting to create, and getting as specific as you possibly can, as specific as you possibly can, you're gonna find that you're feeling so grounded and so motivated like you're again you're finally coming home to yourself and that's the message family oh my god on the bottom of the deck as i stopped shuffling was the ace of cups that's about to be you embrace it i love you so much and if you're interested in a private reading or a private healing, you can check out my website, the link is down below. I'd be more than happy to continue this reading with you, help you get personalized messages, and help you heal through the blocks that are either known to you or unknown to you. All right, fam, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.